Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, and we are on March 28th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to a quick video here. This is the Volcano Activity Report for week 13, looking at 39 active and erupting volcanoes, also pointing out the volcanoes of unrest this week. We're going to start out here in Alaska, where we still have Venimianov, also Popo in Mexico, through Guatemala, still active Pacaya, Fuego, and Santiaguito. as well as San Cristobal and Messiah and Recon de la Veja, which was active last week, just showing signs this week. Three showing signs here in the subduc subduction zone on either side of Grenadines. Sufri St. Vincent is active and erupting. As well, Nevados de Ruiz, Reventador, and Sangay. About five showing unrest in between those. Down into Peru, where there's been quite a bit of activity recently with seismicity. And as well, Volcano Fiticus, just northeast which is not being shown here, is not on the volcano discovery, Sabankaya. So just northeast of Sabankaya is Fiticus, which has shown signs of activity as well. Noted, not on this map. Also looking down here in southern Argentina and Chile, Nevados de Chilean and Villarica. Two down there have shown signs of unrest now as well through Africa the active Nirimirigongo and Nirimiriginga sorry Nirigongo and Nirimirigira as well the active shield volcano Urta Ale in Egypt well, Somalia. As well, active throughout Sicily in the Mediterranean with Mount Etna. And as well, Stromboli. And notable here is Campri, who is showing still showing signs of unrest. We just had that earthquake yesterday, 5.5 .5 in the Aegean Sea. So, eyes and ears open, stay frosty. Moving over into the Banda Sea, or sorry, no, here. Uh, we also have, off the coast of Madagascar, Pinton de la Fournais, and as well Mayotte, showing signs. Cinnabon erupting, Carinchi erupting. As well through Indonesia. Merapi. Semeru and Rung as well Luatolo into the Philippines here Dakono and Ibu moving north here in North Philippines and the Tal Volcano showing signs since the 24th 
up into Japan, Swiss to Najima, Sakirajima, and as well Era, which is not noted here as well. Into Kamchatka, Russia, with the Ebukov volcano, and as well Shivalich. So as things have quieted down through Kamchatka, after that baby volcano beside Klutchevskoye, also through the Aleutian Islands, says Mapoichnoy. And look at this, we have the Cleveland volcano, strato volcano, massive supervolcano showing signs of unrest. As well, Hawaii with Kilauea and Mauna Loa showing signs of authority or signs of unrest. Down into Papua New Guinea here with Kadavor. And as well, Manam was taken off the active and Langila. Bagana volcano became active about a week ago. And through Fiji, New Caledonia here, Lagovi, Gao, and Yasser active. And then down into Antarctica here with the mighty Erubus, which I wish I had so much more information on. You know, we still have so much yet to learn about Antarctica. So there we are. We're having a look at 39 active and erupting volcanoes and about 100 showing signs of unrest. And I almost forgot one here. Last but not least, the Iceland volcano, otherwise known as Krisovic, and another one showing signs of unrest. Notable is the unrest that is continuing through this subduction zone and the eruption that is continuing through St. Vincent. So active 39 volcanoes across the planet. I'm just pointing out here the watches and warning zones for the next week or so until our next volcanic activity report. I just want to let everybody know too that normally we have about 25 to 35 active and erupting volcanoes around, around the planet. And it's only as of the last six months where I've seen the numbers dramatically increase from 40, then up to 52, and then back down. So we are now active, 39, erupting. You got to really wonder what's up in China. So now let's have a look at our air quality for the next little while. This is the next three-day forecast for the world. SO2 models by, brought to you by windy.com. And you can see it's not as hectic as it was in the last volcanic activity report. It's not as thick. But we're still getting... A lot of SO2 coming out of the United States, the New Madrid. Looking here over Asia and Africa, and Europe. And again, I'm not putting this video out here because it, the numbers are extravagant or anything. This is purely for documentation and research with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. Looking at the small islands of Nishinoshima, and as well, all the SO2 coming out of Kilauea, feeding its way into the west coast of North America, and as well, so is the SO2 coming out of Guatemala through Central America. So here's another SO2 map this is nullschool.com, and this shows a more defined map of the SO2 and where it's coming from. 
and you can see there is a lot of SO2 emissions coming out of the New Madrid and through eastern United States. As well, a lot of SO2 coming out of the foothills of the Rockies and through Alberta. And as well, Manitoba there, geothermal. Quick look at the rest of the world through Null School for SO2 maps. This is why I say you got to wonder what's happening in China. There's a lot of SO2 hanging around lower levels. Overlooking Africa. Or sorry, Australia. My bad. <laughs> Overlooking Australia. And Russia. I really hope you're enjoying today's video, having a look and an update at our planet for volcanoes. I wanted to compare the fire maps to the maps that I'm showing you here of the 39 volcanoes that are erupting. And you can see there are tons of hot spots that are showing up across the planet through worldview here. Also wanted to note out the strange cloud formations in the Pacific Ocean, just ahead of one of the largest low pressure systems to hammer the West Coast. Thanks everybody for watching. Much love to you all. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Thank you.